nice video, except for the microphone. This microphone sucks ass. You really need to get better gear. Hey, my ears, my ears, my ears. I hear you. You may not be able to hear me, but I hear you. I will get a new microphone soon. If a YouTube check comes in, that will be the first thing I use it on. Otherwise, I am broke. But I appreciate the support. So now let's do part two of Normie is getting one shot by LLMs. Written with support by an LLM. All right, let's see. Oh, not ChatGPT, bro. Are we talking to your lawyer, ChatGPT? Yeah, right is now? this like, your? Is this the, the lawyer? Is like, going dude, on? I... So this is Mama Max, and he is handling a case that he thinks includes human trafficking, cult worship, etc. And for a case like this, instead of asking for legal counsel, he is using ChatGPT. Show me that definition, not the ChatGPT. Why do you not bring me that one? I am giving you multiple. <laughs> give me like, that. I give me the only... one from the legal definition. Why do you bring me ChatGPT? Link me that right now. We'll read it together. ChatGPT understands the legal system no it doesn't but it's not just the normies who are using it for legal advice it's actual lawyers too actual lawyers slash professionals have been using ai to write their legal briefs and then chat gpt made up fake cases to cite to strengthen up the lawyer's arguments ai does not know the law it even warns you of that can you give me legal advice i'm not a lawyer and cannot give legal advice for personalized legal advice you should consult a qualified attorney even with the newer models you still cannot trust them companies like symphony do not pay all have failed and have to say, oh, we don't actually give legal advice. We don't actually give legal advice, actually. May it please the court. I come here today a humble pro se right. before a panel of five distinguished is justices. This, is, is this, hold on. Is that counsel for the case? You are not going to use this courtroom as a launch for your business, sir. So if you are able to, to Shut that off. If you want to have oral argument time, you may stand up and give it to me. Um. Oh, no. Young man, I th your essay reads fine, but I think this was made by ChatGPT. No, I saw in a video that AI detectors are worthless. Educate yourself. I didn't use an AI detector, young man. You're in the second grade and your essay says, in conclusion, it is imperative to consider the multifaceted impact of World War II. And then it ends with, I hope this helps. Let me know if you need any revisions. Yeah. So last video, I said it was impossible to detect whether or not something was AI. And I still stand by that. The only real way to get caught using AI is if you leave a paper trail. Do you think that this was a conspiracy amongst the professors against you personally? I believe so. So this student was expelled for using AI, even though it's currently impossible to detect. How did he get caught? Well, in one of his previous essays, he left a note to himself to rewrite the essay so that it does not sound like AI. And then on his final exam, he used an acronym that no teacher had ever seen used in the field. And so the teachers decided to ask ChatGPT the essay question. And ChatGPT gave an answer that was structured the exact same and used the acronym that no teacher had seen before. Do you think that this was a conspiracy amongst the professors against you personally? I believe so. I'm gonna show you how great I am. Great I am. Great I am. In this day and age, it should have been impossible to get caught using AI. But the human spirit will always find a way. And AI can't replace that. So the only objective way to know if somebody is using AI is if they leave a paper trail. There's a couple of Hall of Fame paper trail leavers so far. One of the goats will be the author that left their chat GPT prompt in her book, and she ended up getting review bombed because of it. And the dozens of research papers on Google Scholar that you can find if you look up common AI phrases like certainly here is blank or the most damning of them all i am an ai language model in these examples people are outsourcing their thinking and their work to chat gpt which is making them careless because in no way shape or form would that have ever been in a final draft of someone who cared about what they were making. Another thing that normies like to do is ask ChatGPT to describe them. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but ChatGPT said I have 160 IQ. ChatGPT said I was masculine, narrative warrior. I asked my ChatGPT AI to roast me based on my prompt history. AI only knows the current context, but it cannot go through your prompt history. It's a kind of AI misuse that's not really 
illegal. It's more so people just trying to flex or stroke their ego a little bit because AI will always give you a response to make you feel unique, no matter how generic the compliments they give you are. It's easy to be negative and make fun of people, so I wanted to show a positive use case on how I use AI. This video, I'm going to be showing how to use it as a creative partner. So instead of using AI to make a final draft for me or generate something for me, I use it to help me brainstorm. If you haven't heard already, AI is basically an over-glorified autofill. It predicts the next most probable word, and you can use this to your advantage. For example, I didn't know what I wanted this video to be called, so I gave ChatGPT a small little summary of what the video was about, and I asked it to generate 50 to 100 possible titles. And now all I'm gonna do is skim through this list of words. And when I finally did choose a title, it wasn't one that ChatGPT generated. That's not the point. The point is that I now have a list of 50 to 100 probable words that are slightly related to the topic I'm making. Just from saying so many related words to the topic, I'm making connections in my own brain and I'm stimulating creativity. This works creatively because you're not using AI to give you the answer. You're using it to spark connections in your own brain. Think of it as using a more powerful thesaurus. But if AI generates something that you really like, you can go ahead and steal it verbatim. I'm not the ethics police. And that's the end of AI Normies part two. AI is a very quickly moving field. And I have plans to talk about a lot of things. Let me know in the comments if you want me to talk about any specific topic that isn't listed there, or if you'd rather see a specific video first. Other than that, like the video if you liked it, and bye! We fed all the court transcripts in AI, and it said that there is no scenario where I lose. AI never lies. AI can't lie. I mean, give me an example where AI was ever wrong. You can't. Spoiler alert, he was wrong. You might have noticed that I said, written with support by an alum at the beginning of the video. So how I use it is that when I'm done with a script, I will copy and paste the whole script into ChatGPT, and I will prompt it with this question. Do you fuck with it?